Welcome everybody to this first and ever online fast lane axon framework training that Axonic uh, that we are doing. So I'm Steven. I'm uh, currently the lead uh, developer for Axon framework, and I typically provide trainings like these. So that's why I'm the one who's doing this stuff. So I got a got a couple of things I want to start off with first. So first and foremost. Like I said, this is the first time we're doing this. This is a tryout for us as well. There might be things which should have been done more practical or should have been different or changed later on. That's why we have a survey at the end. It would be very valuable for each and every one of us at Exonic if you would be able to fill that in so that we can adjust this for later installments because we had that many registrants that we cannot do a single one, not, a, uh, not, not even two, but we need to have four of these webinars in place to give everybody um, the chance to be part of uh, the fast lane Excel framework training. Secondly, this training will be recorded, the entirety of this webinar. That means that if you need to jump off for whatever reason later on, or if you want to check it out at a later moment, what you've seen me explain or how the exercises went, you, have, you get the recording, so you can always check it back how it went at a certain stage. Uh, thirdly, um, this is a fast lane training. This means that this is not a replacement for the regular training we do. You should see this as a very quick recap of all the concepts which come into play when you're dealing with Axon Framework. Um, we are looking into providing an online means to do the full training as well, because given the current stance of the world, it makes total sense to have stuff like that. But we want to get something out there really quick. And that's why we're doing this format right now. So I feel those are all the household topics to discuss. So let's actually do some describing of the topics I wanted to go for. And firstly, we will start with our agenda, of course, which can be segregated roughly into portions. I will spend an hour on those two portions, meaning that firstly, I will do the architecture overview, where I'll discuss domain-driven design, command query responsibility, segregation, and event sourcing in short. And then the second half hour should be tasked with Axon framework specifics around command handling, aggregate design, event handling, and query models. After that's done, there will be a hand, uh, one hour of hands-on moment. This is when you guys will work on your own with a repository we've prepared with some exercises in it. Um, we'll still be online. Zoom, the meeting will still be going on so that you can keep asking questions. If there are a lot of uh, questions popping up uh, reoccurring, if I notice that, then I'll make it a public, uh, public uh, announcement just to the entirety of the group what the intention was of it all. Now, having said that, Let's dive into our first topic of today, being the architectural overview. So really looking into Axon in theory. And the first one of those is domain-driven design, the components that make up the model. Now, when it comes to domain-driven design, you really need to think about that the domain model is at the center of the application you're building when you're doing DDD. So the domain model really is at the foundation of every application. This is mostly the most important part when you're discussing DDD. What you notice when you're doing this is that a growth in complexity within your application typically resides in that your model isn't well suited for the scenario you're taking for. Maybe it needs to be adjusted a little bit. Maybe you need to introduce a different model. You need to segregate models. It means that it's always a thing you need to think about how you set up your domain model and it's an evolving thing as well. Now, that's fair and all, but what do I really mean with a domain model? What is a domain model in a fence? So let me segregate those two words from a domain model, describing what a domain is at first. The domain being a sphere of knowledge, influence, or activity, really the subject area of which a user applies a program. So really the subject area where you are in when you're creating your software. The model, on the other hand, is a system of abstractions that describes selected aspects of that domain to solve specific problems related to that domain. So the model pulls out very specific portions from your subject area to solve a specific problem you have. Right, that's fair. Let's marry these two concepts again and look at that, what, what that would mean when you're talking about an actual domain model. So that means that the domain model contains the things that you need, that a client needs to solve a specific use case you have. It also means that your domain model doesn't contain any concepts which you do not need to solve the problem. 
the domain might be a lot bigger. And yes, there might be things in charge when you're talking about that domain, but as long as those aren't needed to solve your problem, they shouldn't be a part of your model. 